Greetings everybody. So this is a video where we will explain uh, winch and drum setup for uh, K2. Okay. Okay. For the starters, your spring needs to be tidied but uh, easily so you can adjust it during setup up to this point, basically up and down one centimeter. Your drum has a nut and it's already passed the sheet. Sheets both ends are free. Winch is there inside. Your radio should be trimmer completely down, this all the way down and uh, inside when you go to the end points on channel 3 should be around down on 90 and up on 115. That's some uh, basic setup when I start to adjust boat. That's I found it to work very easy but it doesn't mean it has to be like that but this is the way I like it anyway. So to continue you start the winch. Okay, which is it as you get it from manufacturer, you go all the way down and now you go to the winch setup. Which pin is that? Any pin that is same as the yellow. Now the winch setup, now this goes up. This is standard RMG. So now the winch has your uh, radio heights up and down and now the winch is in a setup okay now the first trick is where to tight this end of the rope what uh, what i do i go a little bit over put it almost on the winch a little bit like one centimeter in front not on top but one centimeter here and then i pull the jib cord as much as i can once this hits and the, this rope is uh, tied, tight, this is the good point to tie the knot. This is your uh, downwind maximum position. You will never go over this, so you don't need it. So this is very good position to tighten the knot. I do two of those. Two of uh, normal, uh, normal nuts, nothing special. Pause. To cut and burn a rope we use this electric that you can charge it on a mobile phone charger. It works very well. First cut it, few millimeters longer and then I just burn it with it. And that's it. And uh, pause. Uh, now it's time to tie the return uh, line. It should be about one meter of length and you need to tie it here next to the main sheet uh, main 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 sheet line. Same as the uh, other, tied it and then you burn it, cut and burn. That's it. And then you pass it in the same direction as the main sheet goes, through the plastic guide inside the boat. Okay. Put the plastic inside the boat. Same as the main sheet, it will come out here. Okay, it comes here over the winch. It goes back. this and then go back in front and then when you wonder what the length length of that is I found that this is the once you pass it through I found out for K2 this is the good measurement now I just keep the drum here and tie it tight it 
until I have a... Mm -hmm. So you are pulling the rope until you have... I have the... a spring uh, drum somewhere here, this is the... So there this... is a tension. Yes, and this little... position should be somewhere here. Okay. So and an all is in tension. Everything now. is in tension. And it should be somewhere there. Okay. So that's the good measure. That's a decent measure. It can be one centimeter here and there. The spring will take care of it, but this is what I found out. It's the easiest and quickest way, so everything is working properly. Now I will burn it immediately, but for you guys, I would recommend test is the length okay first. Okay, so you should test if the length is okay and then burn it. We just skipped that part to speed up the video for you. Okay. Now the winch is already in the setup mode from the beginning and it is uh, adjust for the complete upwind. Now idea is to roll the line on the drum as much as possible for the upwind sailing. And uh, for the return line it should be not even one roll, you see it's all the way to the end. It's on the end. Mm -hmm. If you once you roll it, if it goes in opposite direction, you let it pass over. So it's all almost directly. See? Okay. It's... One moment. So. Okay. And then you you keep it pull and tied it and put it on a winch. Your your nut should be somewhere around here once it's seated on the winch, and you need to find it. Very, very twisted. Okay, in this position is okay for the nut. Okay, so the nut is visible right here below yes. the pot. This end. is starting, starting pot. Now you use the sheet for the downwing. For the downwing, nut is, let's say, somewhere here. Okay, let's see where is the nut. This is your All maximum, right. maximum downwind. Okay. And you take this wire out, so the winch remembers this setup. This is now your maximum upwind, downwind that basically you won't use that much and now you go to the setup hold first i put this in the, into the middle now i know in the middle because of the two beeps and now i play with the end point adjustment to keep the nut somewhere here it should be something like 45 degrees and then you go to the downwind and you reduce down in length also to 45 degrees. You see the nut here. So your upwind and downwind position regarding the nut is in the same position. Yeah, the nut is a little bit visible inside. You see, upwind and downwind, downwind is the same position. So it's around here somewhere. The next step is when you are in the upwind position. You just tighten this if needed. This is okay tension. I will just add a little bit more and that's it. I tighten this two nuts is more than enough to keep to keep this running. And I cut it a little bit longer just in case you need to retune. But this is more, more or less that. And this is your needed, uh, let's say, length of the... This is for the upwind and this is for the downwind. And this is the speed you should have. The next and the last step is for the upwind, I adjust these uh, hooks. For the upwind jib, it's somewhere here, right on the corner of the chain. I use two, two of these normal nuts, so they are easy to untie. Because during time this will get shortened and then you can readjust this by moving position of this down the line, not by end changing endpoints. Endpoints are not for that because then uh, you are changing the position on the spiral drum and everything. So your spiral drum should work always the same. And this one goes here to the edge of the whole deck. Again, two normal nuts. And you leave like 5-10 cm for future readjustments. So we, regarding your winch, 
Now you have a trimmer. When you are sailing in stronger winds, you can ease it on the trimmer. Or if you want a more upwind angle, you can tide it. But your mid middle, let's say middle setup, should be here. This one in the middle. This one should be in the middle. And your wind should go not from here. One and two rounds and back here. In and the that's same it. position. In yeah. the same position. There this is. is good position so the spiral drum is working as it should be. And this is the speed you get. And that's it. You can go sailing. Thank you very much. Cheers.